In our Pentecost journey, we see in Acts 2 that not only did the Holy Spirit descend upon the apostles and they went out into the streets and they preached a message that was perceived to be insanity and Peter spoke powerfully, but we see in verse 41 that many of those who were there, 3,000 in number, gladly received the word and were baptized. The gift of God is, is free. It is available to all. It is open to all. The gift of God is something that is given to us out of his graciousness, not of, out of what we deserve. It is a gift that is not given to a chosen few or even a chosen many, but that is offered to the whole of humanity. As Christians, we are thankful that we have received it. As Orthodox Christians, we believe that we have received it sacramentally in chrismation. So he dwells in us. He is within us. He guides us and leads us. And so therefore, he is there to do two things. To unify us, being that presence that is in all of us, but also to unify us daily and empower us daily. It's wonderful that God doesn't leave us. He's there among us and with us and actually within us as well. During these days, looking forward to Pentecost, we look to the reality that is God in us, the Holy Spirit who guides and directs us, the Holy Spirit who not only visits us occasionally or empowers us when we need, but is always resident within us, for we are the temples of God and the Holy Spirit abides in us. I am Bishop Angelos.